Hi everybody, I wanted to share with you a discovery I made about an interactive template. So I'll go ahead and post the link that you see here in the description so that you can go ahead and use your browser. Go to this link and you're going to want to scroll down till you find this 2023 edition. You'll see a little new label on it. Now when I went into the link, it was in Japanese and I had to select translate. But even if you can't find your translate button, just look for that uh, circle with the new. And you're going to go ahead and click open. Once you have your document, go ahead and right click, click save. And you can go ahead and save it to your desktop for ease of use. So I'm going to go ahead and save that to my desktop now. Once you've had a chance to send the document that you downloaded from your computer to your Amazon Kindle Scribe, go ahead and take your device and you can see that I'm actually currently on the Home tab. Let's go ahead and navigate to Library and you will find your Scheduler 2023 there. So go ahead and tap on that. And once that opens, what I'm going to do is make sure that, um, well, first off, let me show you. So you've got your month view here, right? And you can see it's defaulting to the pen. So if I want to make a quick little note in this month view, I can go ahead and do so right here. Now, um, you'll also notice that there are tabs along the side. Those are the different months in the year. So what I'm going to do is select the pointer option. So let's say I want to navigate to May. When I click on five, it takes me into May. Now, if I want to drill down into a specific day, let's say May 12th, I'm going to tap on May 12th and you can see it takes me into that specific day. So if I need to make any notes, again, I'll select that pen option and I can make my to-do list and have the option to make notes in a day. If I need to flip a page, I'm gonna go into to pointer finger. You can also just do this with my hand. Sometimes I do that because it's quicker. And I'll just swipe to go forward or backward so I can flip through the days. Now, one thing to make note of that I noticed, let me just go back to the month view to show you. Even though I added a note on that specific day, nothing here on the month view indicates that. So that is something to keep in mind but I found this to be a really helpful interactive PDF and I think it'll help me stay organized. So I hope that was helpful. I'll go ahead and um, post some additional videos about the Kindle Scribe as well. So if you this was helpful, please do like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.